à tous de DDO, attention pour la séquence d'allumage lanceur. Top. Largage du MAVKM. Allumage triétage à tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top et décollage. est normale, les paramètres de commande sont normaux. Well, spectacular. We're off. We're hauling ourselves against the gravity of the earth. All 336 tons, the equivalent of 22 buses. He's telling us that everything is normal on board. We're heading north. We'll be heading out over the Atlantic, and we are burning five engines, four on the boosters and one on the core stage. But it's the boosters that are doing all the work right now. They're providing 80% of our thrust, and their job is to get us away from the Earth because, of course, gravity makes us stick to our planet, stops us flying off into space. But it also makes it very hard for us to leave. These are spectacular pictures we're getting here, Philippe. How are you feeling? Yes, indeed, this is uh, very, very spectacular. Well, uh, of course, this is uh, a big relief because we're off the ground and it means that uh, all the preparation work is over. Uh, still the tension is not over huh? because now uh, I am and all my colleagues are uh, just uh, expecting and uh, waiting to see that everything will work uh, as uh, predicted. We should get lucky and see the separation of the boosters. There we go. We can see them falling away, those four dots. Isn't that beautiful? Sight. There they are, falling back down to earth. We don't need them anymore, and we are losing weight, Philippe. VGD. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, we're just following uh, one of law of uh, dynamics. I mean, the uh, second law of dynamics from uh, Isaac Newton. And uh, for the layman, we could say, uh, if you want a fast acceleration, you better not carry any dead weight. So we're now burning the main core stage engine that burns for about five minutes. And uh, we can see there Soyuz heading out into the sky. Propulsion is normal. The flight path or trajectory is normal. The fairing is the part at the top of the launch vehicle, which uh, you saw on the ground, and that's protecting, at this moment in time, protecting the launcher. It's got several jobs, hasn't it, Philippe? Yes, we've uh, just been flying through the dense part of the atmosphere, and the fairing has an uh, aerodynamic shape just to help cut through the air. Uh, it also shields the spacecraft from La the friction. And uh, it also provided uh, protection for the satellite from the acoustic vibration at liftoff, which are very loud. I can just imagine. And we can see here at the bottom of the screen, we have the Separation altitude. And we have separation of the fairing. So we don't need it anymore. You can actually effectively say we're in space because uh, we don't have any friction anymore. Philippe, just take a look at the uh, top right hand side of the screen there. We are looking at the trajectory. Now we can see for the first time, Philippe, your satellite. This is a picture of it, obviously. Um, just describe what we're looking at yes, here. Yes, what we have uh, here on the screen on the left part, uh, the sort of tube is the Soyuz launcher itself. The golden uh, round uh, structure is the fregate upper stage. And uh, at the very top, we had uh, the satellite with its cubic shape. 